What's up everyone, Tony here for part 31 of my first person HUDless Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough and today we go back to Valentine and ruin that poor little town even worse than before in Sodom back to Gomorrah. Alright, so today we are speaking to our friend Bill Williamson, what is it? who you may remember from we another Red Dead Redemption game. Been cooking since and we shit. are robbing a bank. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense. Specifically, a I bank in Valentine. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. It's a very good point. I thought we were supposed to leave Valentine behind, but I guess not. Goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There Wouldn't will they be recognize them? Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. Performing. Well, be Very good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. So we're going to destroy this poor little town once and for all. Ooh. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs? Thomas Downs. He's dead. Dead? Huh. Remember Thomas Downs? Very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Don't can worry I? about... Don't worry about downs. We'll, we'll figure it out, buddy. I do like how he butts into the cutscene, though. Like, that's so cool. Like, just the idea that we're, like, doing this one mission, and then, like, the follow-up of another mission that already happened, right? When we went, what was it, Money Lending and Other Sins 3, right? It kind of just, like, intersects with this mission. Like, that's really interesting. And at the end of this mission, we will truly follow up with uh, um, Thomas Downs and his family. But for now, we need to focus on this robbery. We have to head all the way back to Valentine. Make sure I have my guns. Carbine repeater. We'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. It's my cinematic uh like lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot. Camera angle. Either should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. So, like many of the missions up to this point, I'm, I'm really realizing it now on my second playthrough for some reason, uh, how much, um, kind of choice they give you in the sense of, like, how you focus on a player or, uh, a character, and they kind of give you a choice, like, do you want to do it this way or this way? Do you want to do it this way or this way? And in the case of the last mission, we actually skipped the choice entirely, so that's like a third choice, really, just skipping it all, all together. But in this mission, we're given a choice to um, either blow up the vaults, right? We're robbing a bank, we got to blow up the vaults. Or we could actually enter the bank codes, or the, the vault codes, and, and, like, pick the locks that way. And that's kind of like a more quiet way to do it. Uh, the shootout afterwards is uh, a lot, I guess, easier. I mean, a lot easier is probably a stretch, but it's easier. There's less cops, right? Whereas if you blow it up with dynamite, it just, it's like a shit show. And it's just so many people trying to kill you. Which is why we're going to do that one today. Because 
entering codes and, uh, you know, picking locks and stuff is kind of time consuming. Not very fun to watch on the old YouTube, right? But that is the alternate way of doing this mission, right? You pick each individual vault and you could uh, take the money that way. Uh, you're also given another choice, which is how um, to create a distraction. Uh, and we'll see how that goes today. But I just think it's interesting that, again, I think just when you're caught up in the hype of like an initial playthrough, um, especially for a game like a Rockstar game, like I definitely had the same thing with GTA V. Like, I wasn't thinking so hard about like the alternate ways to do heists and stuff. And, uh, you know, there was there were different ways you could do those missions in GTA V as well. Um, and the same thing here in Red Dead. There's just all these different ways to do it, but I didn't think too hard about it the first time. I'm just like, go, go, go. You know, I gotta get through this game without getting spoiled somehow. I was, I was horrified that someone was gonna spoil me before I finished the, the story for this game. Um, luckily I was able to get through without getting any spoilers. And that was a good thing because the story in this game is one of my favorite ever in any video game. And if I got spoiled on some, you know, some of those later moments, anyone who's finished the game knows exactly what I'm talking about, that would have sucked. Um, but I didn't. And hopefully all of you watching didn't get spoiled too, because I think this is a game where, man, that stuff at the end being a surprise is just so crazy and just so uh, cool. <laughs> That's the right word. Heartbreaking, sad, happy. Lots of emotions at the end there. But we'll get there when we get there. Right now we're going to Valentine. As you could hear from my voice, talking nonstop, this is quite the long ride. This is actually surprisingly long. I'm surprised there's not more dialogue uh, going on here between the characters. Because, man, this is a long ride. But we will get there. This is my new rifle from last mission. Look at that. First person rifle. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Woo. Okay. Now I need to be real careful with this one because, like I said, we are going to blow up the vaults and that is going to cause more cops to show up and that is going to cause more people shooting at me and that might cause my death. And we don't want that. So, use your healing items accordingly. I should probably put my gun away. I'm doing a little bit of a uh, role playing here. Hey, everybody. All of us dressed in black, not suspicious at all. Let's just move uh, this away. Come on, Williamson. Are you all ready? It's about to go down. Big time robbery. Big time. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right. All right, gentlemen. Hey, Dougie. Okay. Look at that dog. Get ready. Whoa, yo, he just has the gun out. Like, he doesn't care. Whatever. Karen, go to work. Alright, so now Karen's gonna give us the option to, uh, All right, keep choose and follow me, how she's gonna create the distraction. So, we never decided. Is it Lost Little Girl you want, or the <laughs> Drunken Harlot? We're doing Lost Little Girl. I did Drunken Harlot the first time. Let's do Lost Girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. Well, even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? Save my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Oh, 
Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. There we go. You there. <laughs> That's straight out of the one of the first trailers for the game. Even though we're in first person. I think we have to beat him twice. There you go. Hurry up. Give me my money. All right. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I the, 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 the manager does that. I God damn it. Now what? Yes, I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. I will blow them up. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now you shut the hell up and be still. So yeah, you could crack them, and there's a specific code you have to use for each one. And you could find them online, no problem, obviously. Um, but it's slow. It takes a long time. And uh, we are not in the mood to go slow today. But, like I said earlier... Um, like the fuse before we leave. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, need to move this along. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, there's uh, more cops that appear outside by blowing it up versus cracking them with the code. So, that's on us. We're just going to have to figure that out. All right. Loot. Ooh, look at that. First person money and notes. I'm sure those notes there actually have, like, words on them and stuff. Unfortunately, we gotta kinda go fast here, or else I'd like to, like, read them and see what they say. It's a lot. This is a lot of money, by the way. This is, like, thousands of dollars. This is, like, kinda where the game becomes funny money. Like,. You get so much cash from this mission, it's kind of insane. Alright. Come on. We're gonna have to use some dead eye. We got the place to rest! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know, give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you saying? Should I put my bandana on? Or should I not care? Come on, I'm a true outlaw. A true outlaw shows his face for the wanted posters. Alright. Don't die. Oh god, I have no guns. Okay. Cemetery. <laughs> okay. What is happening here? All right. Come on. Oh, the gang hasn't mounted up. Come on, gang, mount up. 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, the controls. Go! Okay, it's all good. <laughs> I tried to wait for them, and by waiting for them, I went into an alley somehow. Don't even know what happened. These first person controls are still mad weird when you're so used to using third person. I'm also playing online a lot, and I go back into third person at that point, so. Yeah. Hey, my repeater. Hey, my rifle. How did that miss? Oh my goodness. Just a bit of shooting here. Go back to my outlaw criminal guy camp. Gosh. We have to get to the train track because I believe the train is going to go by and we are going to escape. I think we're almost there. We got more coming in. Oh god, more. Is that yeah, that's it. Get to the train. Come on, get across. This is kind of reminiscent of uh the first mission of GTA 5. As you'll all remember, getting to the other side of the train. Except this time, it's good. This time, our heroes get away safely. All right. I think we lost them. Thank you, gentlemen. That See how easy it is? Back in the Wild West. Thank you. Just get to the other side of the train. There's nothing they can do. That's it. It's over. Robbery complete. This is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> very fun, very fun. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. Yes, even though the robbery is complete, we do have some more business to attend to. Yep. Let's go to that Downs Ranch. This way. Towards the water. So, again, at this point in my first playthrough, I'm still not thinking much about this Downs uh, encounter, basically. I'm like, okay, I have to go back to that place I went to earlier. No problem. This seems really unimportant, but sure. Like, I did- I, it didn't, uh, uh, you know, hit me that, hey, I'm, like, going out of my way at the end of this mission to go back to this ranch. Like, maybe it's important. Maybe it's more important than I thought. That just didn't- that just didn't hit me. Which I think is a testament to Rockstar kind of doing this so subtly. It's so subtle how they they incorporate this this character and this kind of event into the game's main story. Like you can't skip this obviously. So Oh look, they even have a dog. Come on. Aw. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. I'm just coming to take your family's money. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. 
Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? <laughs> it's a badass line. <laughs> it's terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> that was a badass you line, man. Got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? What? I've got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. And then we get another cinematic right away from this ranch. Again. Now it hits me. It was all there. All the clues were there. That this was something, something just went down. And again, it's so weird because Arthur is a just a complete dick to this family, right? Like, it's pretty clear. There's not a lot of, like, player choice in this case. He just comes off as a jerk to that family. Um, so it's kind of the game... Uh, like, the game kind of forces that character um, uh, trait onto Arthur, you know? You can't, like, choose to be nice. It's just, that's how it is. So, he's a jerk to this family. That guy coughed all over him. And that's it. And the way he talked to the kid there, it was like, whoa. Like, this guy's just evil. At least that's what I thought. That's going to wrap it up for today. Join me next time for part 32.